What's up guys, this is Jaden from iJailbreak.com and today we're going to be covering a really cool city tweak called Battery Doctor Pro. So essentially what Battery Doctor Pro does is combines a lot of city tweaks into one with some useful power management options. So Battery Doctor Pro can be initiated either from the apps icon that's going to be on your home screen or from tapping the battery as you can see here. Now when you do this, it brings up a nice interface kind of similar to SB settings. So in the bottom we have the app switcher, which, uh, which I'll also point out is compatible with OXO. Um, on top of that, we have some toggles here. We have toggles for just about everything you can think of from rotation locks to flashlight to airplane mode. If it's a system function that can be initiated with one tap, then it will be in the toggles section. Um, what we also can do is we can clear all our running apps, essentially killing all our background processes with one tap by just tapping the used RAM kind of option over there. And what's, like I said before, what's really useful about Battery Doctor Pro, as since it's in its title, is it has some really good power management options. So what we can do is we're going to launch the Battery Doctor Pro app, which will bring up a slightly different interface. And you can see we have a really nice UI here that shows off three presents for outdoor mode, indoor mode, and alarm. So essentially what these three presents are, you're supposed to initiate them on the fly as you're in those various situations. So when you're outdoors, you click the present here, you can see what was enabled. So we have a brightness level, which is set at 50%. We have LT, data on, LTE, and location tracking. Now when you're at home, it makes more sense to disable data and just enable Wi-Fi because you're gonna be, your main data connection is gonna be coming from a Wi-Fi connection versus a data connection in most cases. And then alarm is obviously for nighttime use. So you can see here we have LTE enabled still, brightness and airplane mode. All these can be configured to your liking. We can change the brightness, you can see by just tapping the card, and it goes up in intervals of 25. Um, like I said, we could also enable Bluetooth if you're someone who uses Bluetooth, uh, Bluetooth headset a lot, and airplay mode, and whatever else is available. And you can apply the present to change it to your needs. Um, Battery Doctor Pro also has a really good settings panel here with some additional options that can be accessed by tapping the three line on the top left hand corner of the screen. So we have the presence obviously, which I just explained before. We have the recharge option, which basically when plugged in, tells you how much time it's gonna take for your iPhone to charge back up to 100% or whatever device is in, this is installed on. And also what state the charging is in. Uh, we can go to records, which keeps a nice record on a calendar of all the times that you've charged your iPhone throughout the day. So you can see yesterday, I did a partial cycle from 1028 to 1046, then again 255 to 450, and again at night from 848 to 1046. Um, so it's kind of neat for kind of figuring out how well your iPhone's battery life is by seeing how many times you actually need to recharge it. And you can see if we go into system here, we have our battery's health percentage, which I'm not 100% sure which parameters make up that percentage. Um, we have the device's overall temperature and how many charging cycles we've done, followed by the amount of RAM, some memory that your iPhone or iPod Touch is using, the UCPU, and your storage. And if you swipe down, you can access more settings, such as your device's model, operating system number, serial number, and all that fun stuff. Some more advanced technical information that might appeal to some people. The usage will show us which applications are using most of our uh, device's battery life, which is very handy if you find that you're not having as much battery life as you'd like to. You can kind of figure out which apps are bringing you down. So as you can see, obviously the main battery killers here are any kind of camera or video application because that's accessing your device's hardware cameras. And then obviously games are going to reduce your battery life quite a bit. Um, other than that, it's pretty much it. Um, as you can see here, we also have some additional settings actually, which I'll quickly go over that I forgot. Um, so we can also enable Battery Doctor Pro in the notification center. So if you see here, I can swipe down and you'll see that it's actually at the top of the notification center, which is just a widget. 
um, we can disable or enable that, and we can also disable and enable it in a status bar, which I showed you guys before. All the toggles can actually be configured um, and arranged. So whichever toggles you use more frequently, you can put them in um, the pages that come up first. And one killer feature that I'm glad I didn't forget to mention to you guys is the smart saving settings. So essentially what you can do to prolong your battery life is get your device to automatically kill your background processes after a preset time after your device is in sleep mode. And you can also disable LTE on the iPhone 5 and then enable 3G when your device is locked after a preset time. Uh, LTE is definitely a battery killer, so this helps conserve battery life. And then we can also configure some additional things such as when to enter sleep mode and when to enter low power mode, which will essentially just disable data and just give you your cellular services, so SMS and phone calls. And you can set this when your battery hits a certain level, which will dramatically increase your battery life as data is one of the biggest hogs when it comes to your battery usage here. Then we just have some additional features such as when to run Battery Doctor Pro, uh, whether to give you a recharge finish alert, and whether to enable do not disturb mode at night, and you can delete your charging history. I'm a huge fan of Battery Doctor Pro. Um, I've actually replaced it with OXO because I wasn't a fan of OXO's performance, but that's obviously up to you to decide. It's also backwards compatible with OXO, which is really nice. It looks really good when they're in here. But I, for the first time ever, I've also never installed SP settings because this gives me everything I need. It doesn't have some of the advanced options as SP settings when it comes to system preferences, but we have your toggles, you can clear the app switcher. And like I said, there's some really neat power management tools that's actually managed to see make more battery life than I thought initially. So basically, Battery Doctor Pro was developed by a Chinese developer and as such, it's a little hard to find, which is probably why this tweak hasn't been covered as much as some other tweaks that you may have heard of. The easiest way to find the tweak is through sources, big boss, scroll down the side here until you get to the very bottom, start scrolling up, and after a few scrolls, you're gonna see a lot of tweaks that have Chinese characters in them. Uh, I think I went too far, yep, here we go. So basically, after you go from the number sign, we just scroll up a little bit until you see whatever these mean, and then BA, click on that, and you're gonna see Battery Doctor Pro. That's its icon that you saw on the springboard before. Um, as I said before, it's actually a free tweak, which is really surprising due to the amount of functionality of this tweak. You'd think this would go anywhere from $2.99 to $5, but the developer has been really great at keeping this a free tweak. It's one of my favorite tweaks for the iPhone, even for the iPad. I urge you guys to check it out. This has been Jaden with iJailbreak.com and make sure you check out iJailbreak.com for more city tweak reviews and tech news.